Are you thinking of making a move to Denver, but you're not sure if you can afford to live in Denver? Or maybe you're currently renting and you're just curious how Denver's affordability compares to that of national averages. Whatever the reason may be, moving for a new job, thinking of moving out of state, in this video, we're going to break down the cost of living in Denver and the North Denver suburbs. Stay tuned for details, the results may surprise you. Hi, I'm Natalie Randall, former teacher turned realtor and real estate strategist, helping people make their move in and to the Denver and greater North Denver suburbs. If you want to know everything there is to know about living in Denver and the North Denver area, start now by hitting the subscribe button and make sure to tap on that bell so that you're notified anytime there's a new video that we've made for you. We welcome any questions, so feel free to call, email, or text anytime. We are here for you when it comes to knowing everything there is to know about living in the Denver area and make sure to watch to the very end for your free guide to the top industries that Denver and its suburbs offer. As with anything, if you scour the internet looking for solid information, you'll run into an overwhelming amount of it, both helpful and while at times conflicting. For the purposes of this video, we did some digging and only used sources of information that aligned with our local knowledge as well as that which was compatible with realtors across the US that we partner with and work alongside. The cost of living in Denver is about 12% higher than the national average. It's important to note that in this 12% overage, we're actually averaging out housing costs, utilities, groceries, and transportation. So let's start with the cost of housing. Denver's current median priced home hovers right around $523,000. Now, please note that this is just in Denver County. If we factor in the suburbs in the area, the cost of housing can go down quite a bit. For example, Adams County median priced homes currently sit around $401,000. That's a difference of about 123. So if we factor in Denver and the surrounding suburbs, we'll find that the average house price of the Denver metro area is around $438,300. This means that overall, compared to a national average of $230,000 to $250,000, Denver's housing costs 34% more, according to payscale.com. Now, utilities can be very expensive in some states, and thankfully, the utilities cost in Colorado is roughly 6% below the national average. Personally, I attribute this to the beautiful year-round weather. In summer, Denver typically has two to three months of intense heat averaging around 90 degrees Fahrenheit from roughly the end of June to the middle of August. The average energy bill in Denver is about $156 per month and the phone bill about $167 per month. Solar panels have increased in popularity in the Denver and North Denver suburbs. And if you're wondering whether or not solar panels are cost effective or worth adding to your home, make sure to click the button above and watch the video. Next, let's take into account transportation costs. In large cities like New York or Boston, the subsystem is a very affordable and reliable means of transportation. Unfortunately, Denver does not have a subsystem. Denver does have both a light rail and bus system, which are most accessible if you live within the downtown area of Denver or at least close by. The public transportation is a bit pricey compared to other large cities in the US. And if you factor in an average gas price of $2.75 per gallon, Denver's transportation expenses are about 6% higher than the national average. Further, if you live in the Denver suburb areas, you're most likely going to need a vehicle to get from one end of the Denver metro area to another. According to payscale.com, Denver's grocery costs are roughly 2% lower than that of the national average. Denver and its suburbs have plenty of farm fresh produce available in summer, spring, and fall, so I highly recommend visiting those as an option for quality and quantity. The average loaf of bread in Denver is $3.26, a gallon of milk is around $1.90, a carton of eggs about $1.77, a bunch of bananas averages to be $3.29, and a hamburger runs about $4.15. I'm probably aging myself, but I remember when bread was a dollar per loaf. Now, there's some conflicting information around healthcare in Denver as it compares to the national average. Some of the suburbs in Denver have been noted in multiple articles for consisting of some of the healthiest people in the US. With this in mind, it can be difficult to accurately assess the health costs of those individuals living in the Denver area. Just living in Denver alone, you're constantly surrounded by people that are active and live healthy lifestyles. 
So when added with insurance benefits, it seems that perhaps any comparison figures that we have will be less than accurate. Check out the video above and in the link below on the top reasons to move to Denver. All right, let's take a look at payscale.com and what it has to say about these average costs. The site states that a doctor's visit will be about $117. A dentist visit will run about a hundred bucks and seeing the optometrist will cost about $109. Additionally, prescription drugs cost roughly $464. That's a pretty huge price tag. Lastly, they also included the average veterinarian visit, which runs about 55 bucks. So when factoring in these costs, Denver's healthcare is about 5% higher than the national average. Utilizing all of the above information, Denver comes out to be about 12% higher than the national average. One thing to consider is your hourly income or salary as some career fields and companies in Denver pay higher than they do in other states. They adjust for the cost of living in Colorado. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up or make sure to comment below with any questions that you may have. I'm Natalie Randall and I want you to love where you live.